I'm Renee Austin. I've lived in Hobbs 35 years and have been coming to Cowboy Junction for five. I'm a mother of two children. My grown son lives here and has blessed me with my two precious grandbabies. We normally come to 10 o'clock service. I always have my grandbabies Saturday night. And because of the cookout and the um, Easter egg hunt, we decided to come to early service. Sitting in church, just so blessed. And Ty's message was awesome. And I started feeling faint. So I turned to my friend and there was about six or seven of us sitting there and I whispered that I was feeling faint and I needed to leave. And he didn't hear me, so I said aloud, I'm fixing to faint. I feel lightheaded. The last thing I remember was my friend putting his hand through my Bible bag and purse handles and us climbing over our friend's knees. And the next thing I knew, I was floating through dark blue sky. Um, it was the first week that we had actually utilized volunteers for our medical team. And so I had um, got Renee Watts to volunteer and she was sitting in service, um, listening to Ty preach. We had a large overflow on um, that service. So I was in the media room. Um, the next thing I knew, CG was coming in and she said, they need you in the parking lot. They're doing CPR on someone. Um, and what had happened is Renee Watts had followed Renee Austin out the door to check on her. And shortly after they stepped out the door, um, Renee Watts asked her, are you okay? And she turned around and didn't even get a word out. She collapsed on the sidewalk. So Renee checked for a pulse. There was no pulse. She was not breathing. And so she initiated CPR at that time. I wasn't speeding. I wasn't bobbing. I was just floating. And I saw ahead of me a white cloud. And then I saw bright light from that white cloud and I realized that I was approaching Jesus. And his light was so bright and so white, I couldn't see his face, but I knew it was Jesus. And then at that table was my dad and my grandmother. Uh, I didn't hear anything audible between them, but I could tell they were communicating with Jesus and that he was just totally in love with them and they were totally in love with him. What also stunned me and is such a blessing to me now because I love praise music is I heard tens of thousands of voices and instruments blending together praising the lamb. I couldn't make out distinct words but the essence was just praising the lamb and I also saw these towers, these cylinders of crystal. They didn't have doorways or windows but there was these that all of God's children were there and those were the people that were praising the Lamb. So as I, I started getting a little closer to the table and my grandmother was aware of it and she started to lift her head. She had been looking at my dad and Jesus and she was looking down at her plate and she started to lift her head. That clued my dad in that I was nearing and he started to turn his head towards me and boom, I was back on the ground. So Renee did um, chest compressions on her for at least two minutes, one full round. And about that time is when I was getting to the scene. As I came around the corner, um, she was just getting finished with that. And Renee just took a big breath and sat up and she just said, I, I was in heaven. I actually felt my soul thud back into my body and I knew exactly where I was. And I was mad. I was mad to be back on earth. I wanted to stay in heaven. And so I started, I tried to sit up and say, no, 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 because I was mad. And I heard all these nurses. I recognized all their voices. Her vital signs were starting to normalize. Her eyes were, um, her pupils were going back to normal. She was communicating with us. Um, and finally, after a, a long wait, we were able to get, um, get her loaded into an ambulance and send her to the hospital. So I did go to the hospital overnight. They hooked me up to a heart monitor. I did not have a clot in my brain. I did not have a clot in my lungs. I did not have a heart attack. There was no physical reason why I quit breathing and my heart quit beating. I don't know if I did have an issue and I was healed or if God just gave me this great gift. 
to see what I saw. In 10 years of nursing experience, I've never seen anything happen um, where somebody collapsed and we weren't able to find a cause or have a direct knowledge of what, what the reason was that that happened. And it was just truly a miracle. When I was in the hospital that night, God gave me a scripture, and that was the Song of Solomon. And the second chapter in that fourth verse where it says that he escorts me to the banqueting table and his banner over me is love. And that is such a visual of what I saw. The greatest gift to me about my experience was that I know heaven is real and I know Jesus' love is deeper than I can even explain. And I know there's complete healing. The way it's impacted my future is I just want to tell everybody all the time how much Jesus loves them. The love is more complete and deep and amazing than I can even explain with human words.